Football Manager 23 is out right now. One of the best tools you can download to improve your experience of playing Football Manager is the in-game editor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install it and how to get the most out of it. Let's go. So let's start off downloading the in-game editor first of all. Once you come onto the main screen here, as you can see, it's all the obvious menu you'll have in front of you. You wanna click on the more button here and come to downloads, which will bring up this option right here. It's the in-game editor for £6.99. It's not cheap, don't get me wrong, but it's a nice little add-on that will allow you to do a lot more within the game, if you want to, of course. And once you've decided to purchase that, it'll take you into Steam on a different window, which you can't see right now because my bank details are on there. You buy the game as you would do in any normal Steam application, and then you return to the game. And there we have it. Purchase completed successfully. All that side of things is done in Steam, and it's very straightforward. It's just, I can't show you bank details and all that jazz. So click on OK, and we now have the in-game editor. So that's the first stage of using the in-game editor. Let's jump into a save now, and I'll show you how we set it up. So when you start a new game, we're going to just jump in with Swansea here. When you go into advanced setup, there's one important thing you have to do. And that is to make sure that this is untick. Prevent use of the in-game editor. If it's selected, it will not be possible to use the in-game editor at all in this game. Personally, I select that for my long-term saves. It's just, it removes that element of doubt that there's any editing going on. But if you want to have a play with the game, we're going to remove that. And we go into start a game. Now, when you come into the main game itself and it loads up, you will see an additional icon. It's the FM in game editor pencil. If you do not see it, it may be for several reasons. Now, to check if you are allowed to use the in game editor, what you want to do is come up to your FM icon and go down to game status and it will say in game editor used or in-game editor allowed if you have a current save on the go and you want to download the in-game editor it may be possible for you to do that if you haven't selected this so if it is allowed you're good to go and this is how you would add it into the game come back up to the fm icon obviously this is work the spaces tcs skin come down to preferences if you click on the advanced button and then instead of most common go to interface you will see at the top here show in-game editor in the menu bar now if i untick that and come back into the game you will see that that lovely little pencil at the top has disappeared it's gone even though it's still available it removes it from the icon if you have used the in-game editor you will find that it's gone gray so it is still there it's almost an indication that the in-game editor has been used so if it's gray it means that you've come into preferences and you need to make sure this is ticked so we're going to tick that for the purpose of this video and now i'm going to show you some of the best things you can do with the in-game editor so when it comes to the editor the pencil controls what you're looking at so for example we're looking at a squad view here if you click on this it gives us squad views if you come to a player and you select it it gives us a different menu that will impact the player if we come to the league such as the sky bet championship again is relevant to what we're looking at same again if we go to a club that we don't manage it is relevant to that squad so today we're going to run through the player the squad and the team to show you exactly what you can do in the editor so let's start off with the player let's take joel pro for example here one of the better players in the squad if we select the pen icon we can start editing move to another club move to another club alone remove injuries edit attributes personal details and the contract we can freeze the attributes we can terminate this contract and then we can export the templates to use outside of this game if we click on start editing you'll see that all these numbers here and everything that's gone gray is editable this is one neat way you can do it so for example you could change all of these ones here to 20 to make him the perfect player in his role the advanced forward so let's do that for now so now that we've changed all those to 20 we have effectively created the perfect advanced forward even though his change it to a false nine is perfect duty typical and you can see his polygon has gone crazy it looks very much killian mbappe doesn't it from here there's a few options you have you can see that the recommended current ability is 200 if it's hitting 200 the likelihood is it's above that there's no players who've got these this many 20 so what you'll find you'll have to take one of these down to say an eight which will drop that to a 198 which is an accurate depiction of what you're looking at here of course if you don't lose acceleration you could take that off some of the attributes you wouldn't use such as marking with the knowledge that these are weighted they're not all a one this could be like a 1.2 for example and then the current ability needs to match the recommended current ability so let's change that to 198 but in order to do that you need to take another step so if you hover over here it will give you the maximum ability of that player so Joel Perot is capped at 144. So let's come back up to this pencil here. And we're going to stop editing here. It, it won't delete it. They will stay there for now. But you want to come down to edit attribute details. And this will give you some more information. And this is where I would genuinely come anyway. Because you can do a lot more. 
So as I said, the current ability recommended is 198. So we need to change that to 198 instead of 144, where it's capped. And then we can also change the current ability to 198, which means that his attributes are safe. They're not gonna decline, because if you were to go on without changing anything, these would drop down to 10s, 12s in no time at all. So going back into the attribute details, which again is one of the main parts, you can do a lot more. You can change the reputation of the player, his adaptability. So the hidden numbers, which create his personality, his DNA, if you will, these are all here. You can change them to whichever one you want. Even his height. If you wanted a target man, you can make him, let's go and make him six foot 10, shall we? Why not? Sorry, Joel, you're gonna be massive, boy. Another really useful thing you can edit with a player in the attribute details is the player traits and the position. So the player trait, if you wanted to add anything additional such as gets forward whenever possible, we select that and it goes in here as a new player trait. You can also edit the player's contract. So if you had a player with a minimum fee release clause, you could come in here and remove it, for example. Now, one other tip, you can create the perfect player if you want. We'll come back up to the start editing and we'll make everything 20. And there you have it. We've created an absolute monster. Joel Perot, 20s across the board. Let's stop editing and it will just stay there as all those 20s. Now, the bit you need to do here is come into this part and go to freeze attributes. It means that none of these are going to change, regardless of the current ability or the potential ability. We've frozen them as they are. And the final bit we're going to do with Joel is go into attribute details once again and go to positions and we can select whatever we'd like him to play. So if we think, well, actually, Joel, mate, with those stats, you'd be a really good central midfielder. So we're going to train you with that. And that's what we got. He is, by all accounts, the perfect Carolero. So once you've done that with all the plays you'd like to, we're going to go into the squad. And this is probably one of the most useful ones you can use. So within the squad view, you'll have all your players. We'll set up a tactic now. We'll put them in it just so you can understand the process. So the tactic we've done is just a 4 2 3 one and up here for the squad view it gives us lots of options we'll go to the club in a second just to show you what to do with that but just on this page the main part change all morale if you are struggling to get your team to perform well you can see it underneath here very good very poor extremely good if we change that to perfect everybody is loving life they're going to perform a lot better after that We've got maximize existing tactical familiarity. Now that's why I wanted to set up a tactic first. If we come into this page, we can see that the familiarity is incredibly low. Once you click on this one here, it will update the maximum tactical familiarity for every player. You won't see it straight away. It takes a day or two to actually update in terms of those bars right there. Next up in the squad menu, we've got remove all bands, injuries, and unhappiness. A really nice way, if you are struggling, if there's a cup file, there's a few boys out, there's a few boys injured, you wanna take these away, and everybody is in the perfect shape, the condition is perfect, and they're very happy on that pitch with no bands whatsoever. And really, that's all you need to do in the squad view is these ones. There are other ones, but they're more related to the club, which we'll get into right now. So in order to edit Swansea City, we come to club info, and again, if we click on our pencil it will give us different details here so let's click on the club details and it gives you all the under the hood information the reputation of the club the morale the club attendance and the minimum club attendance and maximum club attendance so some of you for example may want to come into the club details to give yourselves lots of money now to do that click on finances you can quickly put a sugar daddy into your club as a front end deliverer now that would add a little bit of pressure to you as a manager to perform but it means you can access more money. So for example, our bank balance, we can go up to $1 billion. I think that's too many zeros. It is. If you do too many zeros, it will revert back to the other ones. There's nine zeros there. Let's do that. Perfect. We've got a billion dollars. Current scouting budget. If you hover over, it will give the maximum again. So this is five million. Same for the transfer budget. We can hover over and we can give ourselves one billion pounds of transfer budget, which we'll do. And for the wage budget, we've got five million pounds. So now we have a lot of money. In terms of debt and loans, most clubs will have them. And you can come in here and pretty much remove whatever you want. Just remove, remove everything that is holding that club back now we're nice and clear and income this is another way you can kind of nerf the money coming into the club say you had a general sponsor which was only 1.9 if you hover over it again it will give you a maximum of one billion pounds which will do and they add them into the bottom here general sponsor i've done two just because I'm greedy. So we've got two, two billion pounds each year for sponsor money, bonkers. Now within the club, you can also change the facilities. This is a really nice way if you wanted to improve the capacity of your stadium. The maximum current capacity of the Swansea.com stadium is 45,000. That can go up to 150, so let's do that. And the fact we can go up to that, let's actually make it that big. And if you do have a very old stadium, it will have a higher number here. Luckily with the Swansea, it's just a one. You wanna put that a minimum number so the stadium is in lovely condition. We could put a roof on there 
under soil heating and this is another one training facilities youth facilities youth recruitment if you just wanted to come in here and put these to 20 and leave everything as it is it's a nice way to do a youth only challenge for example bringing just players through your youth intake so let's go through and change everything to 20. now next up we've got relationships so say you're doing a journeyman save and along the way you join swansea city and you've left middlesbrough for example to come here and they hate you to improve that narrative you can maybe add Middlesbrough in here as a bitter rival to your club or if you're a very small club and you wanted an affiliation with Manchester City for example you could add those here. Now finally if you've got all this money to spend and you've got loads of money and a front end sugar daddy they expect players to come in. Don't forget to change the reputation. Players will not come to you if it's 5,900. If we change that to 10,000 and we change the club attendance to 150 which is what we're expecting people to come in with we're almost guaranteeing a full house every week and everybody wants to come to the club. So as you can now see on the club view everything is maxed out five star everywhere billion pounds in the bank 941 million pound value we're secure the owners enjoy your life of the club we're just bossing it to be fair my caveat here i don't like doing this most people won't it takes the fun and the challenge out of the game but if you did want just a casual season or you wanted to play with your mates and say okay we got a billion pound who can create the best team in a season it's a nice way to do it and for a couple of quid you do what you want you play the game however you see fit now one more thing and that's the bonus to add in is if you wanted to get a player into your squad who wouldn't come so let's go to the championship which we want no players from so we'll go to the premiership and let's take a little look at lesser known match the city just because we need a striker up top to sit alongside Joel Perot, don't we? And I think they've got a decent boy up top called Mr. Harlan. So let's go to him, who is a beast, even though he looks terrible next to Perot. So to get Erland over to our club, click on the button here, and it's simple. We've got different options again. So move to other club, move to my club. We can edit his attributes exactly the way we did Joel Perot's, but we're just going to move him to my club. I'll give you a pound. I don't want to be cheeky. I'll give you some money. And if it was a loan, you can do wage contribution, etc. So click on OK, and you will see that Erlin is now playing for Swansea. If we come into the squad, there he is. He's on 325 grand a week, so we might need to change that. So if we come into this contract, instead of 323, let's leave leave the 300 pounds at the door, shall we? The tax man. So he's down to 23,000 pounds per week instead. However, if you didn't want to take Erlin Harland into your team, just for whatever reason so let's let's send him back to man city for for the pound again you know we're not getting for nothing sorry Erlen, mate we're messing you around terrible here but we did want a player of a similar stature to Erlen. you can come up to this button here and go to export attribute template and that will bring up a template for erling harden click on save and it's saved successfully click on ok go back to your squad and say we've got a young upcoming striker in our team so that would be liam cullen for example let's select him and liam mate you're decent but you're not erling let's click on the pen go to import attribute template click on Erling and there we go we've created Erling Haaland Mark II God help the world so there you have it a very quick run through of the in-game editor how to use it how to set it up and how to get the best out of it again it will divide opinion some people do not like using the editor I personally don't like using it myself but it's there it's an asset you know and you play the game however you want to play it and no judgement free world do we want so any questions of the editor pop them down below I'm happy to answer them as you go along if you try it out and if you enjoy that under the sort of video we've got another one here in the manager seat check this one out and i'll catch you in the next one take care